Hi all, it's Ali here and I'm doing a wallpaper video for you. Now, I'm arty farty, I can hang wallpaper reasonably well. I've had years of experience having to do it. I was going to get somebody in to do this room. It was the room that my, my uh, youngest son has just recently moved out of and it's a big room. I think it's about 14 by 16 and I was going to get somebody in professionally to do it. But by the time they've rubbed down those damn walls and I've had to hoik the everything out of the room, which is a right pain in the arse, um, I could have actually done it. In fact, I could probably have done it in the time it takes them to quote me, which I did. I did a whole day yesterday. I'm really tired today, but it's well worth it. The thinner the paper, the more it will rip. Just remember that. So it's worth buying a good quality paper. The second thing is... Uh, there's only a, only two or three rules really to wallpapering. And the second thing is, if you get a good quality paper and have lots and lots of glue on the back of the paper, you'll have success. Especially if you're covering old walls like mine, which undulate. I tell you, there's more potholes in my our walls than there are on the roads out there, and that's saying something. Um, polyfiller is your, you know, is the queen of filling in holes, as we know. An old butter knife will do, just to flatten it off here. You don't have to go and buy trowels and things like that. If you're at home, just find, find things around the house that you can use instead of spending money. You will need a good wallpaper brush. Again, they don't, they're very inexpensive, so... You just get these big plastic ones and you s literally slather the wallpaper. Otherwise, you're going to have problems. You need to make sure that the walls themselves are pretty much dust free. So it's always good if you want to go around and wash the wall first. But if you don't want to wash the, wash the wall, wall first, I'll put my teeth in. Just get a duster and do it. It's fine. So... What have I said so far? I've said the thicker the paper, usually the easier it is. To, this is just from my, uh, in my opinion and the way I've found things. The second thing is to get wallpaper paste and slather it on. But I buy ready-made. I've tried the uh, mixing yourself and I'm sure it's fine. But I just don't know what it is with me. I can't, what I can't be bothered to mix it. Two, it doesn't seem more expensive to get a great big tub of it ready mixed. And three, I can't get it the right consistency. I probably put too much water in or not enough water in. Whatever it is, I always go for ready mix. And that's my tip for, for anybody, especially when you're starting. Um, obviously, meeting your pattern up is really important. Unless, and I just about get away with it, with this, where I could just put, you know, where it's bricks. You know, if you look at a brick house outside, the bricks don't tend to match, especially in old places. So it doesn't match much matter here. But obviously, if you were doing a bird, you've got big birds everywhere, or you've got like um, butterflies or flowers. You don't want half a butterfly up there and one down here. You've, you've got, you need to match them. So you're going to have to leave when you're cutting your lengths an extra maybe six to 12 inches, depending on what they call the repeat pattern. So you need to look at that and that will determine on how many rolls you're going to need. Now, I got this online. That wall here, the back wall, was done as an accent wall. And that's why I thought it's not going to look good all the way around. But actually... I ordered the same again because I thought, whatever I do, I could have got a plain grey and I thought, oh, it's just a bit boring. And also, plain is going to sh show the bumps. Shiny water paper is going to show the bumps. It's the same with painting. That's another tip for you. The shinier the paint, the more the bumps show. Just like you would on a voluptuous woman, the more shiny the garment, the more voluptuous the lady will look or man and that's just 
that's just the way it is because you've got reflection from lights and so therefore to use something that's that's not got to shine is again in an old house the best way to go okay i used about more five no four and a bit on these three but two but one of these walls has got two windows in take you for a little tour this is the wallpaper it's really nice and look how nice and thick it is it's like a you can hear it it's like it's not it's not quite a card but it's it's close to it um i don't really know what to to, that to show you that you know you can't see from behind but You'll see here was my focal point. So here is where I did my first piece. Uh, obviously, that wall, the, the wall behind me was done. But as I came round to this wall, you can see this wall is was done. And then as I got the same, bought the same wallpaper. So it didn't matter that it wasn't in the same batch. You still got, we still got, you know, this, oh, what am I trying to say? I'm so tired, I can hardly speak. I'm so sorry. As we came around, it didn't matter that it wasn't in the same batch. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, this needs a really good clean. I must get to this. But again, if I was using paint, I know me, I would have painted the uh, radiator as well. Um, and so as you come round, the other good thing about wallpapering is that if you're, put, say you've got to go behind somewhere like this, you've got nowhere to put your clothes, you can dump them on the bed, do the wallpaper, so do your first bit, do that bit, uh, you know, dry it off, and then you can just put your clothes straight up there, whereas of course with paint, you'd probably be waiting to the following day, or if you don't wait to the following day, and you're like me, you're just too impatient, you end up with the uh, with the things sticking to the wall, the, the clothes. Anyway, I'm sorry, I'm, I keep losing my train of thought and my sentences aren't forming very well. I really am that tired. I cannot even tell you. Um, so all I can say really is that those are my tips for wallpapering and if you can't if you can't afford to get someone in or a professional you haven't got an empty room because they like their their rooms empty whereas i'm prepared to just say well okay <sighs> knickers to that you know <laughs> i just work around i pull out one side do one side and then work my way around the room it is a very sticky affair i won't lie i mean i can see where there's some clear on the floor because I literally rolled it out on the floor down here I can see down here that is wallpaper paste just as you think you've to clear it all up look it goes white but the good thing is it'll just peel up and I can just vacuum it up eventually so it's nothing to worry about anyway I'm going to love you and leave you and I will just show you this cat because anybody that hasn't seen our our rug this is our rug Persian. There you go. Ruggy, you're on camera. I thought you might enjoy seeing him. He's absolutely beautiful, this Persian. He's a funny little thing, though. You know what cats are like. They're very fickle. Yeah, he's just had his dinner. You're fickle, aren't you? He gets pulled around terribly by um Hector, uh, Hector and the other uh, the other cat Hector and gets pulled around as well of course um by Rolo who's never really quite got used to this one I don't know anyway I love you and leave you thank you for watching please share please subscribe and if anyone wants to tip me I'm always appreciative of that but I hate saying it but I will say it since everybody else seems to be saying it I think I will um, lots of love to you all. Take care. Bye.